Hey guys, what's going on? Flawless Crested Geckos here. Will, Audra, Hi. coming to you guys with another video. This is going to be one for the Diamond Series and very unique one this time around because we don't, we've been showing off a lot of, I guess, high white stuff and yeah. Dalmatian stuff. And now this go around, we're going to show off a little bit of tricolor stuff mm -hmm. that we've been working with and keeping under wraps. Yeah. Um, you guys know we work with a little bit of everything. So <clears throat> um, this is going to be Triton. Triton is from Kodak and Pika. Pika. Pikachu. Yeah. Pika. Um, she's produced for us for the last five, six Honey, years. Honey, Pika was an OG as well. Yeah. Like she was one of the first 10 geckos we had. And she's still with us yeah. now. She's, she's a, a yellow. Yellow. Um, pinstripe. Um, yeah, partial pen, I guess. Partial pen, she's but pen. she's been throwing uh, tricolors with us, with uh, Kodak, and Kodak is, a, I guess, a soft scale, um, funky pen, dark, dark contrast, or dark base mm -hmm. with a high <laughs> white uh, penning. Came from Emerald, City. Emerald Cities, but was produced by Amy's Critic Closet. Yep. So, <clears throat> phenomenal mail. Procured yeah. him from phenomenal from mail. Um, he was a holdback from. He was produced two years ago now, year and a half ago. Triton. Triton. Yeah. Are <laughs> you okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. I'm like still. I'm still in Kodak land. Oh, that's big going. <laughs> I'm like, huh, <laughs> dude. He's like seven years old. <laughs> Okay, we got okay. <laughs> Triton, yes, he's like, <laughs> he's a year and a half. <laughs> Silly. So Triton's a year and a half. Um, we, when you see him, you'll know exactly why we held him back. Um, his colors are phenomenal. Um, he colors all three spectrums. I mean, to the T. His uh, white highlights is insane. And he's um, not even close to being fully developed yet. Right. And we know a lot of it came from Kodak. Um, a lot of it came from Kodak, especially with uh, the contrast. The, the, the color that he throws is, is a definite dead ringer for mom. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool when you take, you know, you've got this pinnacle male, this high-end gorgeous male, and you've got, you know, an idea of what you want to do um, with said male. But then you're like, hmm, I want to add some real color to it. Right. And you find a gecko that may not have much of anything else, but maybe they have decent structure, but they don't have like a, you know, like a crazy insane morph or, right. or whatnot. But, or a display of a morph, yeah. Yeah, a display of a morph, but they have awesome coloring. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is with Pika. Pika is, is honestly, she's got beautiful, beautiful color. And what that tells you guys about uh, your collections as well is you don't always have to have the absolute grade A um, display of a morph. You can, you know, start middle ground. Um, I would try to avoid by all costs the, the starting at um, uh, low end as far as structure, uh, structure you yeah. know, and things like that. You want always the structure to be, you know, a really, really good, solid quality. Um, and sometimes, you, you know, you can take A++ structure and mediocre color and you can fix mediocre color in one season mm -hmm. uh, one generation with structure is a little bit takes a little bit longer to yeah because sometimes it's hit or miss and depend mm -hmm. depending on how bad the structure is then you got to also think about it. if the structure is truly that bad do you really want to replicate you want to breed it you know so that's yeah. why we always start with really really good structure color and everything else you can you know improve upon and what like with there. this particular pairing pika is Pika is not like a crowned gecko by any means, so right. she, but she has decent structure. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not bad structure. She's right. just probably not the biggest head you've ever seen in your life. She's, you know, she's just, you know, she's not, I guess, what I would say is um, like 
uh, blow structure or goldie structure or right. some of the other ones that we find. So let's show them off. All right. Hey guys, Flawless Crusty Geckos here, Will, Audra, and we're here to tell you about our Patreon. Yes, going through tough times, you gotta know that Flawless is always gonna have your back. If you go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crusty Geckos, you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our Patreon. $50 a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts. We have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round. No blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Geckos. And join our family. Yes. There he is. So there you have a tricolor holdback. Very, very bright. He's very fired up, which is pretty mm, awesome. Yeah. Um, he carried over the uh, soft scale trait. He did. From Look, Kodak. If you see his little coloring right there on his neck. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can see right up underneath there. He just has this beautiful, beautiful orange and yellow coloring. Contrasted with this deep, dark um, lining of his pen, which right. is also a, a white. And his base is a, a deep, rich brown. Mm -hmm. See his bello belly. <laughs> if he'll let me. Come here, dude. He is on the move. Yes, he is. Come here. Let him look at your belly. <laughs> I know. So he probably will not be breeding this season. No, he's a little small and a little young for breeding yeah. just yet, but probably next year. Yeah. He will be a next year breeder. But check that dorsal out and check his gorgeous head out. Those crests, if you can see, wow, just look at them. They're so floppy. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see the more he develops, the more. And the white you know. crowning around him. Yeah. Just, this I collar. It, it, it shows off the crest even more. Yeah, it does. There you go. You can really see this. This collar has that, you know, guys do not uh, attack us. But he has that sable collar. He does. But he is not a sable. Not a sa he is not a sable. Not a sable, but it definitely is reminiscent of that sable collaring. Yes. Dude, I'm trying to show you off. Go that way. <laughs> He's like, ma'am. And that pretty paper white tail. So with him, we knew we had to hold him back. Um, his pinning is not full pin. He has dashes all in the pins. Yeah, he has dashing all in the pins, um, but his expression as far as the tricolor traits is just perfect for us. We can definitely use him to build upon um, and with the right pairings, probably work on a super soft scale tricolor. But he is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, there is our little tricolor little fella. Um, little fella. Yeah, he's absolutely <laughs> awesome. Um, you can't wait to take that line, that program to a whole nother level mm -hmm. um, and expand on that as well. That's we want to really, really work with the best of the best as far as that goes. And uh, Kodak is actually really, really paving the way as far as on some of them productions. Mm -hmm. um, we switched up a lot of uh, pairings last year. Um, on who we decided to go mm -hmm. with with certain females yep. so we're very excited to see where the other uh, pairings in the tricolor um, program is going to take us to yeah. but 
hit that subscribe button the notification bell yes 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 comment like, like this video subscribe like the whole nine yards the whole thing comment down below what you would like to see next in the diamond series yes. um we've been trying to go through a few of the breeders um now because this is the best time now yeah it's the best time um, to do it when they're they've yeah. chilled out they're not not breeding, breeding you know, just really, really putting tight. weight on and just yeah. chilling out um and we during the season we tend to show off like more of our grow out stuff mm -hmm. uh, stuff that we're excited for um but this specific series feels like it's endless <laughs> at it this does. point because we have so many more to show you guys um even with just our breeders we doubt we'll be able to get through every single breeder um in this season as far as the, yeah before mm -hmm. it's time to be pairing again which is fine we have plenty to show you off our whole back racks are packed <laughs> so yeah. we'll be going through those as well to show you um what to expect from certain productions but anyway it's flawless crested geckos will audra and we are out bye